So, here's a question for you. Have you ever felt confused about being single or wondering if getting married is even the right move for you? Or maybe you've lost someone and you're trying to figure out what life looks like now. Well, in 1 Corinthians 7 verses 25 to 40, Paul has some real straight up advice that might just change the way you think about relationships and your purpose. Stick around because today we're breaking it down. No fluff, just real talk that will help you understand how to live your best life whether you're married, single, or somewhere in between. Let's jump in. So here's the deal. Paul starts off by saying, look, I don't have a direct command from the Lord on this, but I'm going to give you my advice as someone who's trustworthy. That's pretty honest, right? Paul's not forcing anything. He's just giving his thoughts. Paul's saying, if you're single or unmarried, it's actually a good idea to stay that way. Why? He's not against marriage but he's being real about the struggles that come with it. There was a tough time coming for the church back then. Persecution, stress, all kinds of difficulties. And in those times, staying single could help avoid extra stress. But let's be clear, Paul's not saying marriage is bad. In fact, he says if you're single and feel like you need to get married, that's cool, go for it. It's not a sin. His main point is, don't rush it. If you can manage being single, that might be easier in tough times. Next, Paul drops a big statement. Time is short. He's talking about how we live in a broken world and Jesus could come back any day. He wants us to focus on what really matters, our relationship with God. Paul says, even if you're married, don't let that be the only thing you focus on. Don't get so caught up in daily life that you miss the bigger picture. Whether you're married or not, we should all live like this world isn't the end goal. Our time here is short compared to eternity, so let's make it count. Now here's where Paul keeps it real. He says married folks are naturally going to be more concerned with pleasing their spouse, right? That's just how it works. You've got responsibilities, a family to care for, a spouse to think about, and that's fine. But if you're unmarried, you don't have that distraction. Paul's saying being single lets you focus more on serving God without being pulled in a bunch of different directions. It's not a better or worse thing, it's just different. Each path has its own challenges. So Paul wraps it up by saying, at the end of the day, it's all about what's best for you. He's not laying down a rule that everyone should stay single. If you're single and wanna stay that way to serve God, great. But if you're feeling the call to marriage, that's great too. Paul's goal is for us to live in a way that keeps us focused on God and free from unnecessary worries. Marriage comes with its own set of challenges, and so does being single, but God can use both for his glory. Finally, Paul speaks to the widows. He says, if you've lost your spouse, it's okay to stay unmarried if you can. Just like with the singles, it might give you more freedom to focus on the Lord. But if you feel like you wanna get remarried, that's totally fine too, as long as it's within the faith. There's no pressure, so what's the takeaway from all this? Paul's saying it's not about whether you're married or single, it's about how you live for God. Marriage isn't the ultimate goal. Following Jesus is. If you're single, use that time to grow closer to God. If you're married, do the same, but also love your spouse well. And hey, whatever situation you're in, just know God's got you. He's with you whether you're single, married, widowed, whatever. Trust Him and live for Him in the season you're in.